But what we're really going to talk about tonight is community. And this is why. A year and a half ago on the Functional Forum, we had this guy called George Slavich who works for the UCLA Stress Lab. And they've shown categorically now that social isolation is a bigger driver of all-cause mortality than nutrition, exercise, smoking, or alcohol. Just think about all the training that you've taken on, on what to eat. I think we're all a little bored of talking about what to eat by now. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm not even a provider. I have no medical credentials at all. Take my word, you know, you just, as I gave my first CME talks in the last week, I see that the lights turning on in people when we talk about this, when we talk about community and social isolation. And the reason I think it's such an important point is that if it is, if that's true, and you can understand for the first time, you can see it in the blue zones, right? You can see that the healthiest place in the world have great community. Ken in the house, community all the way. Really glad to, you know, that you're here. If it's that big a deal, we understand the mechanism now through human social genomics and how social stress affects the, you know, right at the genetic level and gene expression. The question we have to ask ourselves is, who's gonna solve for social isolation? Can a hospital solve for social isolation? Probably not. Right? Can pharma solve for social isolation? Probably not. But who is solving for social isolation? Sachin Patel is so solving for it. You know why? Because all of the systems that he's using to bring new patients into his practice involves in every way introducing people who want to be healthy to each other.